Hi guys, of course Ray, this video, and in today's video we are back again playing Minecraft and today we're going to be doing a little bit of work over in the village which we uh, were working in the previous episode and in the previous episode we got Mending which in my opinion is the best enchantment in the entire game um, so yeah, we're going to head over to the village today and we are going to be working on doing some improvements on it um, and just making it a much better place. In the village currently, there's not many villagers who actually have professions, so they're not um, doing us any favours in regards to trading. Um, so if we can get these villagers uh, in a position where they are getting uh, good trades for us, then that will be more beneficial for us. The thing is, I find it really funny how it's such a short walk from our current base of operations to the village but it took us what like 20 21 episodes to find it yeah that doesn't really paint my minecraft skills in a very good light does it hello everyone i have returned i'm going to be um helping you guys today because um we need to get your village um improved are you having like a little disco party down there you look like you're having a right little dance hello oh sorry did i disturb your dance i'm so sorry I didn't mean to disturb your dance. Moving swiftly on from what they were doing, we're going to be focusing on um, building some villager houses and these houses are going to be a lot bigger, meaning that we can put profession blocks inside of the houses and um, therefore we will expand the village population but we'll also get more jobs put into the village. Is it just me or does the sunset in this game just look amazing? Good morning my villager friends. When I was thinking about how I'm going to improve the village and build more things in it, um, I had to consider that I wanted to keep it within the Minecraft style. So I didn't want to do something that was too detailed or too big. So what I've done is basically when I was thinking of, right, what can I build um, to expand the village? I thought, Hmm, let's have a look at what's out already in this village that I came across this building here And I decided that I really really liked the design of this building in here So what I've done is I've taken inspiration from this building So I've basically copied this building, but then I'm going to add my own twist on it make it more my style But still in keeping with the vanilla minecraft style. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that So now we need to decide on the location of where we're going to build this I'm sort of thinking here. Now, the reason that I'm thinking here is this sort of feels like the main street to me. You know, like this is like the central bit. You know, like this is the main point of the village because we've got the centerpiece up there, but that centerpiece isn't really a centerpiece. Um, so I might move that actually. That that's that's for a different time. We're focusing on village expansion and and getting better stuff in the village. That's a tomorrow Dan problem. So yeah, if I put the house here, then this would be more of like a lively street setting. Um, but it would still all be in keeping with the Minecraft style. You still following me? But how much of a gap do we want between this house and the new house that I'm going to construct? Is that too small? Because I don't want it to be like a full-on alleyway. Well, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for an alleyway. I don't want it to be like a full-on main street, if you get what I mean. So yeah, I like this gap, three block gap, it's nice and small, we don't want, we don't want this to be like a main area. Um, however, the roof doesn't really overhang much here, um, however if it did then I would be putting it further along. So I'm copying the style from um, like Snowy's house and the farmhouse and things, um, where it has the dark oak. So I need to pile that up, I think that's about right, yeah, we'll, we'll run with it for now. So it's going to use a mixture of dark oak and oak and cobble is this build. Uh, so this needs to have a uh, cobble filled in here. One thing that I don't like about um, these village houses is the fact that they all have stairs to access them. Um, and for some reason that just doesn't sit right with me because it just seems like too much elevation for no reason. So now I just want to make some windows. So I want to build this up uh, here and then there's just going to be like a one by two window. So there we go. And then we'll put a window in there and then we're going to bring this dark oak back in again. Uh, like on that building. But then, unlike that building, we're going to not put that there because that's the complete wrong place. 
we're going to have the front door here where it should be a window on that one on that house over there it's a window but here i've put in a door because i feel like this is like a nice natural front to the building so that is the basic frame of the house there so we've got um window there door there window window and then these walls are just blank because i feel like we can't have windows and doors on every single um area because that would just be a little bit overkill and me in my infinite wisdom didn't bring any sand meaning that we can't make any glass for the windows which is just yet another example of my amazing minecraft skills as we have all learned now, in my opinion, the roof on this building is probably the most annoying part of it, or the most difficult part of it. Because if we have a look over here at this reference build, we can see, um, yeah, there's a lot of stairs in lots of different arrangements. There's also um, planks as well in there. There's lots of different um, blocks put into it um, to make the design of the roof. Let's get the upside down stairs in first. So... Those ones go there like that, and then it should do it here as well. It's just normal rotation. Um, and then I need you to come out by one on both sides. Now, that overhang's a bit tight, but the roof does go up, so it's fine. Then here, there needs to be a stair that faces this way. And then there needs to be a stair that faces this way. And then they should go together like that. Then there should be some full blocks there. That lo that's looking right so far. And then I need to do the same for this piece of roofing over here. And there should be some normal stairs there. Normal stairs there. Normal stairs there. And if we run over to this side, there should be some normal stairs there. There we go. It's starting to come together. And it's starting to take shape. So I have just finished putting the roof on and I have to say it does look very nice but there is one feature missing and that is we have to strip all of this uh, wood uh, just because it tones it better I guess. It just sort of fits better with the build. Uh, yeah. Oh, missed one. There we go. And then we just need to go and get the internal ones there and it's coming together really nicely. And I have to say, I really do like this build. However, the one comment that I would make is that normally I would do like a spruce roof or something with this. Um, because that's just what I do. But do you know what? I went with the oak roof because I thought it would fit in better. You know, I've already gone a bit out of um, the biome and this village's style by using uh, this uh, dark oak. But I have to say, it looks really nice. So what we need to do now is we need to get an interior in. So we need to go through and break away all of this dirt on the inside. And then we need to replace it with some wooden planks. Um, but considering the biome, it's probably smart to uh, use some oak. And I only have five to my name. So I might need to go and chop down a tree. Now I can get that all placed in here across the floor like so. And then if we just break that final piece away and put that there... And then we can make... Oh, we've got a door in our inventory. Never mind, we don't need to make a door. I'm assuming that's a door that I've probably stolen from somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got the door on there now. And then, oh, we need to craft that glass in to some windows. We want to make glass panes. So, if we just place those in there like so. Uh, and then we just want to place one in that little area above the doorway there. And then we want to get, like, a bed in here and a villager workstation. After a quick journey back to the house and discovering that we do not in fact have a yellow sheep, um, which is something that we'll have to, um, that I'll have to sort, um, but we don't have a yellow sheep, which is random. Um, so I've settled for purple and I've decided that when we've um, set up a house, we're going to put a purple bed in it. Um, so then that way we have it, excuse me, and then that way um, that's how we're going to mark uh, that it is there. That is in fact a, a building that we have created. Now I've just moved this lectern here. I think this guy should have kept his tra Ooh. Oh no, this is my mending guy. Ooh, I thought I'd lost my mending guy then. So I've just adjusted uh, the paths around here to make sure that uh, this is all linked up correctly. And I fixed this weird dip in the ground, which made absolutely no sense. But it's all fixed now and we've got this brand new villager house installed um, with everything all as it should be. Be. 
I love how the aim of this video was to get extra villager professions, but all we've done is, well, move one of the profession blocks. It's fine, we're clearing the way for future expansion. Oh, before I forget to mention it, um, please still leave uh, names for the iron golems down in the comments down below, because as of time of recording, that video hasn't released yet, so I haven't had time to, uh, well, the video just hasn't released, so you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, so I don't currently have the names for these guys. Um, so as soon as that video is released, I'll have a read through those comments and we will get these guys named. But I'm not ignoring you. Um, I just haven't, you haven't left the comment yet. <laughs> Your comment just doesn't exist yet. But anyway, that's enough of me rambling on for one video. All that's left for me to do now is thank you all very much for watching and say that I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.